This video is part of the Fall Gaming Challenge and is a Lenovo paid promotion. I'm really excited to be a part of the Lenovo Fall Gaming Challenge. And not only that, it's just super cool that they set a challenge like this up for all of us to play. I'm really excited to get to go ahead against all my competition. Lenovo has commissioned this video for me to quickly talk about their Y-Series gaming PCs before we get into the action. The rig they've given me for free is the Idea Center Y700 desktop. It's powered by the latest Intel Core I-Series processors and powerful NVIDIA GTX graphics. The Y700 is easily customized with tool-free component access so you can upgrade it however and whenever you want. The internal and external LEDs will even emit a burning red glow when the action heats up. There's also the IdeaPad Y700 laptop, which is great for gaming on the go. It features the latest Intel processors, powerful GTX graphics, and incredible battery life. The glare-free display and Dolby Home Theater certified speakers will keep you in the game no matter where you go. Check out the links in the description for more information on both these products, and let's get right into the action. Throughout the video, I'm going to be using the rig that Lenovo sent me, so I'm very, very excited about this. Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here, and welcome to an awesome episode of Battlefield. That's right everybody, I'm playing some Battlefield 1 right now for the Fall Gaming Challenge. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically a thing where myself, Ghost Robo, and Level Cap Gaming all came together to do a little bit of a tournament, I guess you could say, where we pretty much face each other at least once in the tournament, and then from there we play all sorts of different games to see who is the better out of everything. So at the moment, my first matchup was against Level Cap Gaming, and as you can tell by the point of doing this video right now, we faced off in Battlefield 1. Now, here's the problem. He is a Battlefield pro. It's basically what he does on his channel as his main, uh, I guess you could say, game that he records. So... He destroyed me. He's amazing. He's actually incredible at the game. I highly recommend you guys go check him out. But either way, we are going to be hopping on in here and just playing our own Battlefield game for now. Just some fun little gameplay over it. Keep in mind, I have barely played at all. So I'm fairly new to this. I used to play Battlefield Bad Company 2 a lot back in the day. Um, so for me, this is a good throwback for sure. But I am by no means like a professional at Battlefield. So yeah, we're going to be switching it up probably between different weapons each and every time. Right now, I figured on a map like this, it's probably best to use a submachine gun uh, instead of like a, a sniper or something like that. But we might switch it up a little bit here and there because we're just trying to have a fun time really at the end of the day. So, you know, it's always good to keep switching and mixing and matching. All right, let's see if we can find someone. Ah, uh, there we go. Might have found our first person. And perfect. We got him good. Oh, there's a guy right over here. Oh, I saw him. I literally saw him for a split second. No. I got this. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, jeez. Well, I think we just kind of got what was coming to us for that one. All right, let's see if we can switch it up a bit a little bit here. And, uh, you know, what? I'm going to try it. Even though it's, a, it's, relatively speaking, a fairly smaller map, I'm still going to try and use a sniper. Well, this is not anywhere near as large as the maps can get on Battlefield. But, okay, let's see. Oh, gee! Was that? Okay, thank God it was another guy. Because I was like, there's no way the guy in front of me who was sprinting just shot. Why? It was like he was running full force. I was like, there's no way this just occurred like that. Okay. There we go. A little bit of squad spawning now, and let's see where... I guess I'll follow this guy. I'll follow, follow my squad right here. Let's go. Let's move up, bud. Alright, I need to find a good area to snipe from. That's the problem. Probably this windmill. It seems like one of the top points in the map. Although it is pretty obvious that someone would be up there, too. So that's the other side of it. No worries. Oh, there's a guy over there now. I'm gonna grenade out the building. There we go. Come on. Hit him once! And let's see gonna show up no no worries no worries all right so we're gonna keep on going now let's see what we can do after this i'm gonna give it one more try as a sniper then we might switch it up to like a light machine gun, or not a light machine gun sorry back to the submachine gun class we'll see we'll see though and all right hit the enemy once there we go another kill right there and oh that guy got away those are always the worst, though. Whenever you get, like, a close enough snipe that does 80-plus damage, you just it just makes me so upset. I'm like, come on! Like, I couldn't just take the kill for it. But luckily, this game allows you to get assist kills. So, pretty much, it'll give you the kill, even though it was technically an assist. Because you did most of the damage. Which actually makes a lot of sense. Most games wouldn't do that. So, that's good. I was gonna say, I was like, I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna start spawning over there. There we go. Got one. Oh, and that's our teammate there. Alright, no worries. Oh, that guy is not a teammate. Oh, he got lit up anyway before I can get to him. Okay, I'll take that, though. And let's move forward a bit. So how are we doing? We're doing not the worst. We're 3 and 5. I'll be happy if I just go even. It's a really difficult game, honestly, to get, like, uh, started with. Like, there's a heavy learning curve. So I, I would be happy just even going even. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, let's switch it up a little bit here. 
Let's go straight into a. Let's see. We'll, we'll just. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go back to the submachine gun. We'll go back to the submachine gun here. Come on. Let's get a little lucky here. I'm feeling. I'm feeling something here. Okay, there we go. Well, let's lob a grenade up there at the moment. Boom! Got him. Look at that. All right, I'll take that kill. That was actually pretty well played. Oh, and there's another guy right there. Another one right there through the window. Oh, there's another one in the window as well. That would have been a nice little spree there. I almost got three, possibly four kills in that one little spree. That was actually, that was well played. See, I feel good about that. Okay, let's see. That brings us to, yeah, that brings us to five and seven. So we're two kills off of even now. KDR is going up a little bit. We're good. All right, I'm going to go where I last saw them, which was right here. And let's just, yep, there he is right there, actually. I knew there'd be someone there. Oh, come on! That's ridiculous. Ah, see, things like that, they just bother me about this game. All right, now, looking at where that guy was shooting from, I was going to say, it looks like there must be a guy over here somewhere. I don't see anyone, though. Where was that guy on top of the windmill shooting? I didn't see anyone over there. Okay, um, oh, let's see if we can... Nope, I'm going to get that grenade in there real quick. Come on. Yeah, there we go. A nice little nade kill from the dead. I'll take it. I was going to say, I'm like, there's no way if I lob a grenade right there, I'm not going to kill at least one of those two people. And lo and behold, we did. Where are we at now? Six and nine. Okay, come on. Not much time left. They already have 65 points, and we have 55. We haven't lost yet, though, to be fair. So there's still a chance we can come back from this. It's actually, all in all, it's not the worst lead. But, uh, yeah, we can come back. We can still come back, basically, is what I'm getting at. Oh, jeez. And, hey, hey, look at that. Now, that was a good old kill. All right. Let's see if we can maneuver our way through here. And, oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where are they coming from? No. Okay, we're good. We're good for now. This game, I honestly really like Battlefield. Even though, like, I'm not the best. I, I, I don't know. I actually find it to be a lot of fun. It's just something different, you know? It's it's very realistic. It's not like any kind of like goofy kind of shooter game. And not like I said, the kind of game where like you just run out there in the open and, and hope for the best and just you mo you just run and gun like it's, it's not the style of gameplay. So it is really cool. It's a nice little refreshing change, I guess. Alright, there we go. Drop that nade right over there. No, I that's surprising. I thought someone was there for sure. Oh, uh, come on. Ah oh! Alright, no worries, no worries. We'll get him soon. We'll get him back soon. How much time do we have left in this round? Come on. Oh, that was a bad spawn placement, actually. That <laughs> I wish something a little better popped up on the map, but I don't think anyone in my squad was alive, so... Well, what the heck? I was... I literally didn't even know what I was looking at at first. I just... We both just stopped and stared at each other, because for me, I was like, is that guy... Can't be... Like, how did... He's not... He's not in our spawn, is he? And I'm like, oh, he is in our spawn. Probably should kill that guy, shouldn't I? All right, let's try and throw a grenade up there. No. Okay, oh, there's a couple guys downwind. No, there we go. All right. All right, all right, no worries. Okay, so let's see what we can do. I can switch up the weapons a little bit if I wanted to. Uh, we'll try out a light machine gun. We'll just, we'll just give it one little try. One life's worth. If it works out, awesome. If not, one life. What's the worst that could happen? I'm just not usually the biggest fan of the light machine gun class, that's all. There, is there a guy down there? There is a guy down there. Hey, well, it got us one kill already. There's another guy over this way, too. Oh, there's two guys, actually. Oh, my God. That actually almost turned out to be a double kill there, right there. Because there's a guy behind him and him as well. All right. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in on this. I'm going to try my best. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to keep using this gun for a second here. All right. Let's spawn on you. Hello, friend. Oh, they almost won, haven't they? All right, we got to hold out. Cause they're they're literally almost won this game already. Oh no, there's a guy way over there. Okay, come on. I'm gonna. There we go. Cook a grenade. Throw it over. Anything? Nah. That'd been a nice kill. Little blind fire grenade around the corner like that. There we go. And kill assist. Oh, we only did 40 of the uh, necessary 50 in order to get the uh, kill for that assist. Dang. I thought we did a lot more than that. Did he just explode through the wall, or am I seeing... Th am I oh, I think he had a gas grenade go off at the same time, made it look like he exploded through the wall. I was like, what is going on right now? It's like, I am so confused, but I love it. All right, here we go. Spawning on this guy now. And let's see. No, we're looking good. We're looking good as far as I can tell. And, oh, they need two more kills to win it all. Just two more. And, come on. There's a guy still in here. 
Oh. There we go. Enemy hit. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, dang. How do we get stick grenaded like that? Well, that's going to do it, though, everybody. There's a little bit of Battlefield 1. If you all want to see more types of shooter games like this, let me know by leaving a like. But apart from that, take care, my friends. Have an awesome day. Well, that's it, everybody. That right there was the first round of the epic Fall Gaming Challenge. Apart from that, though, be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all next time for some awesome Fall Gaming Challenge videos.